Finally. Hey Matt, what's going on? Um, I'm doing good. I'm blessed. Blessed to be alive. I was uh, calling about the house on uh, Rainy Street, West Rainy Street. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was calling about it. I seen it. It's obviously a fixer upper. Um, I'm a I'm an investor, so I'm looking at this as a flip op opportunity myself. Um, did I catch you at a bad time? No, you're good. Go ahead. Okay. You said your name is Matt, right? Yes. Okay, Matt. Well, uh, yeah, so, I mean, just to tell you a little bit about myself, man, I do, um, like I said, I'm an investor. I do fix and flips mainly. Sometimes I'll uh, buy and hold them, though. Um, have a few rental properties in our portfolio. Uh, I work with a few partners, and we all buy these together. Um, and they just brought this one to my attention and wanted, to, wanted me to just call you up and see if it's something that we could put our money in, if you had a minute for me. Okay, was this a, a primary residence for you? Was this a rental property, or yeah. what's going on with it? Uh, it was a rental. Uh, uh, really? Uh, four or five of them together, about four of them together, and uh, each year I remodeled one and, and up the rents, and this one I don't, I've got other things I'm doing, and I'm not really interested in doing a remodel on So was this, you had this as a rental? This was being rented out before? Yeah. yeah. Man. Jeez, how much was you getting in rent? Nah, only 600. I wouldn't let my dog live in that thing. But, uh, but they yeah. were fine. And that was the deal is, is I was, I had, I had four of them, so I was just doing one a year. And so I got to this one, and I just, I'm tired of doing the remodels. So, Dude. I don't have, I don't have a, a daily crew. I don't do enough of them to have a full-time crew running. So, it doesn't make sense for me. Oh, I got you. Yeah, sometimes it can be a headache. So, what do you do if you do this part-time on the side? Okay, what do you do? I work. Work. <laughs> I gotta say, we all gotta work. I'm gonna make a living. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um. So, how long has this been vacant now? Uh, less than a month. Less than a month. Okay, so you just yeah, evicted probably, him. Probably right around a month. Yeah, I evicted him. Uh, I hauled all the trash out of it. Okay. Cleaned up the, the brush around it. Okay, six hundred a month. Um. And I'm looking, I see some AC units in the windows. Mm -hmm. No yep. central AC and heat? No central AC or heat. Okay. What's uh, what's the worst? I mean, when's the last time you've been here? Uh, yesterday or the day before. Okay. What would you say is like the number one biggest, would be like the biggest or most expensive things for me as a, as a flipper? Would like be the first things. Besides, obviously... I mean, the inside, you want to redo the yeah. entire inside. I'm talking yeah, like big... Okay. Plumbing. Plumbing oh, plumbing okay. Work. What's wrong with the plumbing? Uh, there's, I mean, it's just got some old plumbing lines. It's been patched and repaired, but not replaced correctly. Old plumbing. Is it uh, PEX? No, uh, it's got some PEX, but it's, it's got some galvanized pipe, too. Uh, and it's got a little bit of cast iron as well. Ooh. So. Okay, dang. So there's leakage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Is this on a uh, city sewer, city water? Or? Yeah, city sewer, city water. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the main line's been replaced, uh, probably five or ten foot off the house. It's just right there at the house. It's still got cast iron. So. And this is the last one or the first one that you're selling off? You said you had like four other ones, right? I did. I already fixed those. Oh, you fixed them already. I fixed, I fixed those. I'm getting, I'm getting fifteen hundred to, to twelve hundred a month rent on those. So. Okay. You think, uh, you think it's a possibility to get around fifteen for this, a month yeah. or? Yeah, I think so. I think twelve to fifteen throughout the ballpark of where that should go. Um, but really, the, your biggest expense is going to be your plumbing. I mean, that's, you're probably, if you had to replumb the whole thing, you're probably looking at seven grand. If I had to guess, 7500 depending on how you get. 7500 
Okay. How much do you think the house is worth as it sits right now um, with all that needs to be done? Well, the tax rolls, and I've, I've went down there and argued the best I could, uh, and I got it down to 105 or 115, whatever it's on the tax rolls for. But, I mean, I had pictures and everything, and that's the lowest it would go. I think the lot it's sitting on is worth about 80 to 90. Um, Eight to 90, 80 to 90,000, the lot? Uh, I'm mainly in DF, all around DFW. Um, I live in downtown Dallas. I'm originally from Louisiana, uh, hence the 225 area code. Yeah. Um, yeah. You from Sherman? I grew up in Salt Springs, that is miles east. Okay, nice. Yeah, so I'm mainly Dallas, uh, just really anywhere within DFW, so like a mile radius. Um, yeah. We'll go up to Wichita Falls. We'll go to Tyler, things like that. Yep. But we try not to stray too far away from DFW. Uh, yep. Okay. Well, definitely interested. I think this is going to be a good fit for us. Um, so I, uh, my partner, he's kind of underwriting a deal for me. He's going to give me an offer here in a, in a few seconds, and I'll give that to you and see if we could uh, work. If we did get to a number that made sense for both of us, it worked for you and us, do you think you'd be ready to make a decision today and move forward? Or? Yeah. Okay. Pretty close to the number there. Yeah. Okay. And is there anyone else that you'd have to talk to before making a decision or if we were to give you a good offer? My wife's my partner. That's the only person I got to talk to. Gotcha. That's so. beautiful. I, I love that. Um, so you think you'd be able to talk to her today or is this... Oh, yeah. You're not at work right now, are you? Well, yeah, I'll work, but I got a pretty free schedule, so I'm all good. Okay. All right, that's good. Um, so as far as uh, having a closing date, we usually, typically we do about 30 days, um, just depending on the title, if it's all good and everything. But, if, you know, as soon as the title work comes back, we should be able to close because we're cash. We're not getting a... a alone or anything so you think 30 days is good for you or that work for me yeah okay cool 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 all right um well, let me just go talk to them really quick for two seconds can i put you on a brief hold they're going to give me an offer right now yeah that works all right i'll be right back hold on okay okay definitely rush through that definitely rush through that for sure do y'all have some critique on that You could deposit more so you can withdraw. Wait, say it again. You could have deposit more in the conversation so you can withdraw. I don't think this is a bad deal either. Yeah. What's he going to do with the money? That's a good question. I'll ask him that. definitely uh i think it's a deal this is actually a, a deal it's actually crazy that yo this is a deal this is 110 percent a deal this is a hot deal too look at all these remodeled fix and flips that have happened this year arv is like 250 bro arv is like 250 you see oh wait This one's not good. Wait, let's see. We got a 3 1. 166. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. What's his name? Adam? I thought something was an N. Adam? I think it was Adam.
I'm about to take him off hold. Hey, you still with me? Yep. Hey, and don't beat me up, okay? Uh, what, what was your name again? Matt. Matt. That's right. Okay, Matt, uh, all right, I was talking with them. They didn't have good or bad news quite yet. We are interested, but, um, they didn't give me a number or anything yet. They actually wanted me to ask you a few more questions that I kind of forgot to ask. Okay. Um, they wanted me to ask you about the roof. That's a pretty, uh... You know, big yeah. ticket item. Yep. Uh, it, was pro it was a new roof put on probably five years ago. Five year old years roof. Ago before I bought it. Yeah, they had new roof put on. Okay. And this foundation, this is pier and beam? Yes. Any issues that you've noticed with the foundation uh, in the pictures? That... Yeah. I mean, it's a pier and beam house. I mean, it's got some movement in it. It, it, it could use some, some straightening up. Okay. Do I mean, some releveling. Yeah. But I don't think there's any main beams that are that are gone or anything like that. Any soft spots or sagging? Oh, I don't. Uh, uh, trying to think here. There's probably yeah, there's some sagging. There's probably a few soft spots in it. I mean, but I think it's just it could be straightened back up. You'd probably be fine. Okay, gotcha. So the foundation needs some work. These windows, they look original. Are they original? Yep. Yeah, they got blades in them. Windows original from, let's see, when was this built? The tw I think it built in the 20s for the tax All right, but yeah, those are, gonna, those, are those are guys, the windows with their weights in them. You can have a good trot line weights. Okay. I didn't see that it was, it's 1920. There might be an issue, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't really know when it was built. I just know that's what the textural says, so I'm not going to argue with them. Right, <laughs> right. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, the electrical. Have you done anything to the electrical since you owned it? And how long have you owned this? You said for five years? Yeah, 2020. I bought it in 2020. Okay. Is there any uh, liens on the property that we should know of or back, ta back taxes or anything like that? So what's the end goal? So you're going to sell this to put it into your other rental houses or this is just causing a headache? No, I'm going to, well, I just, I don't want to go through a remodel. Um, I got stuff other investors that want to make money on it. Um, and I'm going to take that money from this and put it in there. Okay. Other investments. That's make, that makes sense. So Matt, if, if we, so like I said, we're all cash, so we don't have to go with a lender or anything or get a financing contingency or a bank's approval. So if we can make it a quick sale and we take it completely as is, so you don't need to even go over there anymore and we'll cover the closing costs. We do that on all our deals. We like to, so like any attorney fees or title insurance or, or anything, we'll take care of it. So you don't have to come out of pocket. How much would you say you absolutely need to walk away with on this one? Oh, that's the right answer. That is definitely the right answer. What would you say that number is? That's pretty close to what I got it off listed at. Okay. So if we were to come in at 50, you think that'd be a deal breaker? Yeah. Okay. I think that's gonna take 50. 50? Yeah, that's what you just said. You think that's gonna take 50? Well, it does need a lot of work. I don't know what they're gonna offer, but uh, I know it does need a lot of work and we're just looking at comps. They're going to let me know the offer, but it's good to know, like, um, I think 50 would be a, a safe number as far as, um, an investment for us. But, I mean, I'd like to go buy a new truck for half price too, but that don't mean that's what I'm going to get it at. Well, if the truck needs a new engine. All right, man. We'll give me an offer. Call back. 
Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna give you an offer right now. Let me go see, okay? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't know what they're gonna offer. I. But I don't. I'm just. I was just saying. If would that be a deal breaker? You know yes. what I mean? Yes. It's real I simple. Already, already the, the, the game with the host setter, so I know what it's worth. So it needs to be pretty close to number. Gotcha. That. Yeah. We're definitely. We're not wholesalers. We work with wholesalers, but uh, definitely not wholesalers. We're uh, looking to buy this. I think it's a good deal. Um. Okay, is there, so 50 deal breaker, I'm gonna let them know that. Um, is there anything else about the property that I didn't ask that you think that we should know? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, Matt, uh, let me just get the offer. It's gonna be two seconds. I did not anticipate to put you on two holds. But let me just go see what that offer is and I'm gonna come back with it right now, okay? Give me two seconds, is that cool? All right, I'll be right back. Hold on. Sheesh. All right, come on, grill me. Got a little mad. Me? I got mad? No, the guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone did get a little angry. You kind of reminded me of the guy that Eric texted. Like, they're going to give me the offer as we closer to that place. I'm trying. I think I definitely rushed through it a little too much. Um, I found out some important things. I do think it's a deal. Well, I fooled y'all. What was the result of that phone call? The last thing I heard was you like, uh, this might be 110% a deal. And I was like, okay, we got a hot one. Yeah, it is. I'm still on the phone with him. He's on hold. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, I'm mute. We've been on the phone for 17 minutes so far. Definitely could have pushed for 30, but I'm gonna give him the offer right now. He said, I, he said I don't like playing the game with the wholesalers. Alrighty. seconds. All right, let's get it. All right, Matt, you there? You with me? Okay, uh, so we did agree. We'll buy it. Um, this is actually the first one that they uh, we all approved and agreed on so far this week. Well, at least within the last five days, and they came in a little bit higher than what I thought. So um, let me just explain what they approved. Do you have a pen and paper so you can write down my information? That way, you know, yeah, at least have my information and you know who you're talking to. Yeah. Okay. Just let me know when you got a pen and a paper, or maybe text it. Okay. My name's Isaiah Malone. So on. I, it's spelled like in the Bible, I-S-A-I-A-H, and then my last name is Malonson, M-A-L-O-N-S-O-N. Our company website is G-C-O, so go to cat open, G-C-O ventures and consulting.com. You got that? You hear me? Got it? Okay, cool. So GC, that's our company's website. This is my cell phone number, so you can call me back anytime. Text me. Uh, I know you said you gotta talk with your wife, so just, if you have any questions or anything, you can call me back here. So we'll buy it completely as is, so no repairs needed. We could close on October the 30th of this month. Uh, that's a Wednesday, um, if that works with you. And then uh, we said that we could cover all the closing costs for you. No commissions or taken out or anything like that. Um, they said that we could come in at seventy-two thousand five hundred fifty dollars. Okay. 
And he hung up. Didn't get a virtual withdrawal. I was gonna get it afterwards. Hold on, let me call him back. Well, all right, grill me. What did I do wrong? The virtual withdrawal number. Yes, I did not give the virtual withdrawal number. I could have given that at first. Definitely could have given that. In my head, I was just going to do it afterwards, after he rejected it. Um, that was the plan. Yeah, you did rush a little bit. I rushed? Like, sell at each point. You don't have to do any more repairs. You've had really bad renters in here. Um, just, like, pain point. Yeah. Get deeper into the motivation. Yeah, I definitely could have built more rapport. Yeah, definitely good. It's tough asking those awkward questions. Like I was just saying, it's tough asking those. It's just super awkward is all it is. And it's got to get better at uh, sitting in that awkwardness. And, uh, you know, I think the fear comes from not wanting to lose the deal, not wanting to lose them, not wanting to piss them off. And then what do you say? Let's say if you ask one of those awkward questions, they're like, that has nothing to do with the house. What do you say after that? Because usually I'm just like, uh, yeah, well, I'm just curious. So it just gets even more awkward. Well, there's a few ways you could go about it. Sometimes they say, what does it have to do with the house? You could say it has everything to do with the house. I don't know about you, but whenever I'm about to spend $100,000 on something, I'd like to know the history of it and what's going on with it. You know, it just gives me a better understanding of the full big picture. 
Or you could go about it like, hey, I get it. I totally get it. I'm honestly just trying to have a conversation with you or I'm trying to have a normal conversation with you um, just to get a better understanding of what's going on. That's kind of what Eric Klein said. He's like, I'm just trying to have a normal conversation with you. And other times, if they say, what does that have to do that has nothing to do with my house or ask me the real questions, I'll be like, these are the real questions. This has everything to do with the house. This is what's going to help me to make and give you an informed offer. Uh, is what I would say to, the, to that. Yeah, I definitely could have got him to open up more. I could have stayed in the awkwardness. Could have gave a little bit more. Could have told him a little bit more about me, about my life, things like that. Um, it is the first call of the day, though, but that's not an excuse. But, you know, I always say get that warm-up call in. But that's a deal. So if you guys want to call that and go off the script and see if you could lock him up for, like, 80. If you could lock it up for 80, bro, it's a deal. It doesn't matter. So if you lock it up for 80, it's still a deal? I believe it's a deal if you lock it up. Yeah. If somebody wants what to call that. What are you going to offer? Huh? What were you gonna offer? I offered him seventy. I offered him uh seventy two thousand. Seventy two five. Yeah, five fifty. Seventy two thousand. You should not try that party. <laughs> 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 so anger, you gonna anger, and then we go and call him, and you offer him eighty. 